Cheerio, Cheerio, Mr. J. Cheerio is raining. I don't want to say cats and dogs, but it is raining quite a bit all day and all night, very hard. I am here at Home Liquors. I remember that um, Wild Card Wednesday um, on your friend's uh, weekly beer show is Dos Equis Ambar, I believe. Thomas from Massachusetts, from uh, southeastern Massachusetts, if I'm not mistaken. He's a gentleman. Hey, look at this. Donate your boat. Look at that. Isn't that funny? I don't know too many people that have boats in my area. Donate your boat. And then we, this, this is a good one. The Lynch Law Firm. All right. Now I'm going to enter the building to see if I can find the Dos Equis Ambar. And I have a funny feeling it will be at a premium price, but it, then again, maybe it won't. But I'll check the port. I'll check the dessert wines out. Actually, okay. Here we go. Home liquors. Home liquors. Home liquors. Home liquors. Uh, what is this? No, barefoot. Barefoot wine. That, they don't. That doesn't look like a sale to me. Okay. Okay, let me let me go directly. Oh, look at that! For forty-six bucks, a little high. What do you think? Here we got the IPA edition. Right. This one's 27, right? And we have uh, this one. Stout, this is interesting. I wonder what this is about. The Stout Edition. J. Terio. Huh. Interesting. It's always something new and interesting when I get here. Of course, you can't beat the, the values of, of blend. Glenn Silver and, and Grants. Yeah. <laughs> All right, can't beat the value. What we got here? Uh, Duggan's Do. It's interesting. Duggan's Do. This one is uh, 24.97. It is big, 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 big bottle of Duggan's Do, and it's glass. It's not plastic. Which I'm happy about Clan McGregor. Oh, what's this one? Weisers, JP Weisers, spiced whiskey. Vanilla. Okay. Okay, I digress. All right, let me. Of course, there's a ton of bourbon. Um. Oops, that's all right. Oops. Okay, Bacardi. Oh, Añejo. Now, this is a good rum. I I already... In, I love the black. I love the Bacardi black. Okay. And it's, it's a good value. All right. uh, Añejo is, uh, is an extra long age rum. I guess they keep it longer in the oak barrel. Bacardi Añejo. Okay, 20 bucks. I might just get one. I don't know. You know what? I, uh, let me finish my let me finish my Heaven Hill bourbon, and then I'll I'll probably get this next. All right, let me let me go. Of course, there's tons of vodka because of the very large Polish community. Majorska, very large Polish community. Oh, this is plastic. No, no, no. Like, uh, this is plastic. Plastic. I'm, I'm going to pass here. Oh, look at this. Oh, this. What? Well, you know, every time I see flavored rum, it's always white rum for some reason. A little steep, if you ask me. 
some of these rum prices, considering how plentiful and cheap uh, sugar cane is. Oh, here's a funny. Hey, here's a funny. Look at, now look at this bottle, Jay. Old Tavern. Right, old Tavern wine. Right, look at that bottle. Looks like it looks like a, the texture of a tree. Isn't that interesting? Oh, it's a dessert one? Dessert red, oh, wait a minute. Alcohol by volume, 16%. Oh, I see, so that, that's what makes it a dessert wine. Uh, the one in the middle, hold on. What the hell, why am I see? why is it glaring? I don't like, hold on for a second. Hmm. Huh. It's still, the price is still, I'm getting, I'm getting a glare, I don't know why, but anyway, that's not the point. The point is, uh, the bottle is very interesting, having the texture of a tree on the out, outside. Alright, alright, look at this one. If you can even read that, what's it, it's, uh, can't even read that for God's sakes. Huh. It's like East, Eastern European company. Eastern European. Here's one. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Let me see if I can find I can figure out what that is. I can't I can't read that for shit. Honestly, I cannot read that for shit. I guess they have a great deal of Eastern European wines because of the the very large Polish community right next door. One, I always say this when I come here, Jay Tirio, but one of these days I'm gonna get the fish. You know, just for just to, to use the bottle as an ornament. This is from uh, the. Uh, the uh, country of uh, Georgia, which used to be a Soviet uh, satellite country. Okay, here's the bear, which is good for people that live in rustic areas. And the eagle, the patriotic eagle, it's a bottle, to be honest with you. Uh, they're all, they all, they all would make nice ornaments. $16.99, I mean, I wish I had a place to put it, honestly. I should get it. Oh, look at this. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute for nine bucks. Pomegranate wine. Pomegranate wine. There you go. Let me see, huh? what's the alcohol by volume? 12%? Nah. Eh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. It's, oh, they're Armenian also. Here's cherry wine. Armenian cherry wine. Let me check the alcohol by volume. If I could read this friggin' thing. Hold on, hold on. Son of a bitch. I can't read. 12. Okay, also 12. I can't even read that. 12%. No, I'm, I'm so used to the strong stuff. Okay, here's a sem, semi-sweet apricot wine. Right. Same deal, same deal. Okay. Yeah, I'll be damned, man. I wish I had the room for, you know, for that fish. I can always make room for the fish. 17 bucks better be great wine this I can never understand it's Mr. Tirio, and I'm happy that it's glass the uh, Tito's handmade vodka how the hell could you make any liquor by hand that you sell in such huge volumes nationwide you tell me all right 29.97 Tito's handmade vodka 
It's bullshit. It's bullshit. Just like the Quaker Oats man is, is a bunch of nonsense. He doesn't even exist. Here's the single bottles. It's a wick. Um, let's see. As you can see, war is Warka. Uh, oh my God, look at all this. Look at all this. Oh, here we go. Wait a minute. Um, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not going to be that lucky to get a single bottle of Dos Equis and Bar. I'm going to have to suck it up and, and get a six pack. Let's see. Uh, Modelo Especial, Mod Negro Modelo. Uh, $8.99, $8.99 for Especial or Negro Modelo. Uh, Coronas, well, ch -ch -ch. come on, man. Hmm, oh, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. I'm gonna have to really see if they have any. Um... Oh, look, they do, they still make Brotherhood. Oh, here we go, they got different labels. Okay. You know, America's oldest winery, uh, used by the Archdiocese. Holiday Spice, Holiday Spice wine. Rosario. I think that's made by the New York State Catawba grape, I think. And here's the May wine. I think the primary spice is Wood Woodruff. Now let me see what the alcohol content is of holiday. Hold on. Oh, let's see. Alcohol by volume. Hold on, I can't even. 12. Uh, it's only 12%. No, I'm used to that 18%. I am sorry, sir. I'm used to the 18%. I'm going to pass on that. I can't go back. I can't go backwards. You know, once I'm used to something. All right, there's the Conte. Oh my God, I don't have it. Let me try the non-refrigerated section. Oh well, I'm, I'm going to have to bag out. I'm going to have to bag out on the show. Uh, Jim Bean. Budweiser, copper lager. What the hell is that all about? Jim Beam copper lager? They're, they're working with Budweiser? They're lowering themselves to work with Budweiser? Hmm. Yards, India Pale Ale, Jefferson's Golden Ale. Yards, Yards. Uh, yards. Oh, look at this. Guys, the guy's boxing with Satan or Krampus. Hey, Krampus would love that. Look at that. Look at that, Jay. Champagne ale. Really? It's ten bucks. Uh, mighty things. Uh, I guess Soul Monkey or something. Prima. Victory. Victory brand. Dirt Wolf. Look at his double IPA. Dirt Wolf. Interesting, huh? Okay. All right. Okay. Buddha Ranger. Fat Tire. Yinling. Uh, more Voodoo Ranger. Um. There we go. The Seki Zambar. Eight dollars. I found it. Okay. Now I hope I was. I hope that was the decision. Now. The Seki Zambar. I found it. For a wild card Wednesday, which is not going to be a wild card, it's going to be this, right? So you just have to send me the link to Thomas's uh, show. Okay, I found it. I found it, which is good.